It's the Bill and Steve Show! Mike asks, what are the top five causes of back and leg pain? I think I pulled my hammy, but I don't remember anything. That's a big question. Uh, to, to dumb it down or to smarten it down, as we say here, into just five things is a little bit naive, but we can do that for the sake of brevity. Um, but Steve will have a bit more to go there. Back in the 60s, it used to be lie in bed for a week and all things will heal themselves and then you can get back to sport or back to work. But the issue with that is that people have recurrences of back pain and the difficult cases that we see will have between five and 10 recurrences of acute back and leg pain per year. But if we had to list off the top five things, what would you say those top five things are, Steve? Yeah, I'd say the top five things that we see would be facet joint pain, disc pain, muscle related pain in the back, poor nerve length in the back, and motor control patterning in the back. What about hamstrings? There's your sixth. Pizanserinus bursitis? Yeah, that can also be a possibility. Trochanteric bursitis? I think you are, are you getting the idea here? It's, uh, it's complicated, but uh, we would recommend you, you, know, you contact a health professional and get a, a correct diagnosis so you're not living in the 60s and uh, waiting for the pain to go away. Cytic notch irritation? Yep. Uh, sacroiliac joint pain? Yep. Anything Bones. else? <laughs> okay. Um, I think you get the, <laughs> the, the, the message there. Um, so, question of the day, Bill. From me? From you. It's your turn. Dog videos or cat videos? Mm, good one. For me, it'd be, have to be cat videos. No, yeah, I knew it. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a border collie. He's very obsessed with cats, but yeah, dogs definitely for me. You're a dog or a cat person? 